Good morning. Today is Monday, August 29th. I'm Joya Doss for the street from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. Oil has made its way to $49 a barrel today, no thanks to high output from Middle East OPEC members and a stronger U.S. dollar. Also a factor today, profit taking in oil and of course worries about a U.S. interest rate hike rattling an already nervous market. Swiss drug maker Roche indicating the FDA has issued an emergency use authorization for its Zika test. The the name of the product is the LightMix Zika test, which is a user-friendly molecular diagnostic test. The FDA on Friday told all U.S. blood banks to start screening for the Zika virus as there have been nearly 2,500 cases of the virus in the U.S. linked, linked to travel to outbreak areas. Amazon is testing out 30-hour work weeks with some of its employees. The program will have a few technical teams made up entirely of part-time workers. These 30-hour employees will be salaried and receive the same benefits as traditional 40-hour workers, but they will receive only 75% of the pay that full-time workers earn. Amazon says the traditional full-time schedule may not be a one-size-fits-all model. And finally, happening today, the Dallas Fed Manufacturing Survey is out. The latest numbers on personal income and personal spending are released, and the U.S. Open gets underway in New York City. That is a wrap for us, but be sure to track all of your breaking news and analysis all day long at thestreet.com. At the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Joya Doss for The Street. Have a great day.